Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. Lomachenko versus Rigondeaux. Size matters. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest in boxing. If you want to become part of the gang, gang notification gang please hit the bell icon shout out to the super chat channel donations the venmo donations and the patreon family we working fucking finally lomachenko versus ring days away december 9th espn mega fight two two-time olympic gold medalists shout out to top rank and also rock nation and the fighters ring and lomachenko for getting this done now the reason i say finally is because this fight has been poorly promoted not necessarily on YouTube. YouTube has hold has held it down. Um, I've done my part to give you guys content, push out content, gear you up for the fight. I just dropped a boxing ego tail of the tape, the first look on this fight, the ego fight club. Check those on the channel. But in general, from the the people who should be promoting, like you know, I mean the top ranks, ESPN, have been very minimal to me. And we never got is is very weird to me. They did camp lives for. Oscar Valdez, him fighting a random unknown guy. They did Camp Life for, I think it was Lomachenko versus Mariaga. You know what I mean? Fights that didn't matter as much as this. The stakes weren't as high. Yet Top Rank produced original series to document Lomachenko's training. But they didn't really do that for this fight. Very weird decision. Maybe they felt because the tickets sold out, it was already in the bag. I don't know. And maybe they felt the other fights needed more of a push to... You know what I mean? To get people, encourage people to want to watch it or buy tickets. But either way, I think it could have been promoted better. And they did a press conference for Lomachenko versus Miguel Mariaga. But they did no press conference for this fight at any point up until today. Now, today they did do the press conference. And the best part of it was the face-to-face. -face, getting to see Lomachenko versus Rigondeaux or a head-up face-off so you could size the two up because before previously i don't remember seeing them in any pictures together or anything so i mean you can easily go on box rec and and see what they're listed at but sometimes that's off because what what box rec has floyd mayweather and canelo listed at they they look a little bit shorter to me from the eye test you know what i mean so it's great to see it you know what i mean different shoes different platforms and stuff i want to see how these guys look what's the size advantage and I want to get my thoughts. You guys see the picture in the thumbnail. I also made this chart. To me, the size differential is not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Like, I actually thought Lomachenko was going to look massively bigger. Now, don't get it twisted. He's clearly taller, clearly bigger than Rigonau. Obviously, he's two divisions higher. But, I mean, you can see he, he's taller. But it, it's really not that marked of a, it's not that mark of a, a difference to me. I mean, this looks very similar to... Nonito Donaire's height advantage over Rigondeaux, from my eyes. Maybe a half inch taller is Lomachenko, but it looks very comparable to, to me. And I made this chart, and just so I don't have to deal with idiots in the comment section, I also posted this on my Instagram, so you can follow me at Boxing Ego and join the conversation. Everybody's talking about uh, the height. But the reason I posted this is I'm not comparing the quality of fighter within um lomachenko versus these other guys like amagasa chucky moises flores or even donaire right because they all have different fighting styles lomachenko squirrely tricky he he likes to step to the side and try to produce angles and stuff like that southpaw so he's a different puzzle that rigandau would have to figure out vice versa and i'm not comparing like i said the style or the quality of the fighter however when it comes to the breakdown of this fight, I see a lot of people who don't know shit about boxing. Not saying if you pick Lomachenko, you don't know shit about boxing. But the only thing that a lot of people are saying that are picking Lomachenko is, Oh, I'm picking Loma. He's just too big. The size is different. To me, that's how I know who knows shit about boxing. Because whether you're picking Loma or you're picking Rigadao, you should be able to intelligently explain not just one facet of the fight, but break down what is Lomachenko's game plan? What is, what you know what I mean? It has to be something more, in my opinion, at this elite level 
two two-time Olympic gold medalist, then this guy is taller. You know what I mean? Because these guys didn't get this far by not having skills. You know what I mean? That you don't get, they don't just hand out gold medals and these guys have two apiece. You know what I mean? So I got to hear something more than like, tell me what Lomachenko is going to do. Like, is he going to um, come out aggressive? Is he going to fight off the back foot? Is he going to jab Rigadao's lights out? You know what I mean? Like, break down the fight, his power. He's going to shoot the uppercut. But I'm just hearing a lot of people and they're like, oh, Loma. Loma just because it's his size differential. And like I said, in my honest observation, I expected Lomachenko to, to look a little bit bigger. He He doesn't look... He looks bigger, but he doesn't look sensationally bigger. And the reason why I say, like, obviously, this is this is, it's a tricky subject, so I'm going to try my best. Size does matter within reason. But when guys are very skilled, then size can be and height can be negated. For example, Demetrius Andrade just fought his first fight at middleweight against a guy, Alan Tez Fox. And that dude was extremely tall for the division for a middleweight. He was like six foot five. And that's like a four inch advantage over Demetrius Andrade. If you look at him next to each other, he's considerably shorter than Fox. But stylistically, Demetrius Andrade was able to hurt Alan Tez Fox in the first round and beat him. And I could keep going on and on. Floyd Mayweather versus McGregor. McGregor looked a lot bigger, a lot wider, a lot taller. You know what I mean? When Floyd wasn't wearing those those boosty platform shoes, McGregor looked a lot better, a lot bigger. But in the ring, none of that mattered because Conor got stopped. There was there was a separation of skill. You know what I mean? And I could think of a ton of fight. I mean, even Canelo versus Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. Chavez Jr. was noticeably taller than Canelo, but he lost every round. Now, I'm not saying that's the case because in, in this fight, you don't have lazy Chavez Jr. You got two premier gold medalists and elite level fighters so it's going to be interesting very interesting to see but as you can see from the chart Rigondeaux is no stranger to being the shorter man in there like he's fought against Amagasa Moises Flores and if you look at it you look at this comparison chart they all had more of an extreme height advantage than Lomachenko I mean it's very apparent you can see where Rigondeaux's eyes line up and you know I mean where the other guy's mouth I mean those guys were extremely tall right Donaire, in my opinion, had cracks. Lomachenko's power is decent, but to me, Lomachenko has maybe like a mere con power at welterweight. Like, you don't want to fall asleep behind the wheel, but it's not like Errol Spence, Thurman, Pacquiao power. You know what I'm saying? So, that's just my thoughts. Let me know what you guys think. I kind of expected more from the size differential, but I'm glad they had the press conference and we got to see him line up so I could size him up and I'm just looking forward to a good fight. May the best man win. Let me know your thoughts. Drop it in the comment section. Make sure you smash the like button as always. Hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego. Signing off. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego. The future of boxing.